What is a secret curry phrase? What is a seed phrase? What is a private key? What are all these things in Web3? My name's Seb Monty, and I'm good at explaining this. I'll keep it simple so you learn quickly. On my left here, I have a Phantom Tutorial Wallet on the Solana blockchain. If I go into the hamburger menu and go to settings, I can go to Tutorial Wallet and click on Show Secret Phrase. Put in my password, click Next, and this is my secret recovery phrase, also called a seed phrase. It consists of 12 or 24 words. And if somebody else has these words, they can gain access to your crypto quickly or even instantly. I'll show you an example. This browser on the right is Edge Browser. We're at phantom.app and we're gonna download this for Edge. Get the extension, click on allow, add extension, and we're downloaded. Now I can click, I already have a wallet and I can just add the words. Here's the first six words. Now I'll put in the next six. and Prosper. Now we can click Import Wallet. This has found three different accounts with activity. View Accounts, and we can see them here. If I go back to this wallet and look at the three different accounts, I can see the first one. If I hover over it, is this one with just over four soul. Account number two is this one. And account number three with a small amount of soul is actually down here, this one. This other wallet, NFTs, and this other wallet haven't shown up in Phantom because they do it a little bit differently. But we can just click on continue, create a quick password. I suggest using one password to create your passwords. Create the terms, continue, and we're good to go. Now we come up to the jigsaw piece and show in the toolbar. Click continue, and these are my three accounts. These currently show addresses for Ethereum and Polygon. I'll just quickly turn that off so it's not confusing, but if you're on those networks, you can keep them on. And now what about getting this wallet address? We can just click add connect, create a new account, create. This is account number four, 81Z. And that's it here, 81Z. What about this one, 4US? Plus, create create for US. So you can see you can always derive each individual address from the seed phrase every time. That's just how cryptography and blockchains work. There are no exceptions. So if you ever have a problem and you cannot derive the addresses, then it means you've got the wrong seed phrase. You've made an error. Now let's have a look at private keys. Let's go to account number one, come up to the top here and then click show private key. Put in your password, Never share it with anybody. I'm just sharing it because it's a tutorial. And this is the private key. I'll show you what happens if I copy this and then try and paste it in here. Firstly, I already have this account. So if I import the private key, I can call it anything and it says it already exists. If I take this wallet, remove it, and then go and add it, it can be added with ease and we can import it. So if someone has access to your private key, they can access this single account. They can access this address and this address only. If they have access to your seed phrase, then they can access any accounts, any and all. If you import a private key into another wallet, such as this one, you do not have the option to actually see the seed phrase. Any imported private keys do not have that option. The only thing we can do is just see the actual private key. Now to show you that every private key is different, have a look at this one for account number one. And let's go have a look at account number two. Next, you can see this private key here. It's a series of numbers and letters and it's completely different. You can import this into your phantom wallet on your mobile phone. It will give you access and full control of that wallet address. As a quick analogy, imagine a house with 10 bedrooms. You enter the main door with the seed phrase. That gives you access to all of the bedrooms. However, if you're already in the house and you don't have the seed phrase, you need the private key to access from the lounge into each of the bedrooms. And each bedroom has its own private key. And no matter what, if those private keys initially came from the seed phrase, they will always be able to be re-derived in a new wallet with that same seed phrase. So keep that seed phrase safe. Your seed phrase keeps your crypto tokens and your NFTs safe. Also, it's important to note, you do not have to record the private keys into one password or another password manager. As we saw, we can always pull them from the original seed phrase. That's all for this tutorial. Stay curious 
and we'll see you in the next tutorial.